Thank you, Scott. People across the Treasure Valley coming together to honor a Boise police officer killed in the line of duty. My co-anchor Brent Hunsaker shows us how one group is trying to make sure Mark Stahl is never forgotten. This is Natalie hollowed ground. This is the final resting place of Mark Stahl. He's the Boise police officer who 20 years ago was shot and killed uh, in the line of duty. Joe Andrioli is with the Fraternal Order of Police and he joins me here at this site today. And they just finished up a project of restoration on this headstone. And if you look at it, Joe, this is absolutely beautiful work. I mean, it looks brand new. And this is a 20 year old um, headstone. This is subject to the normal wear and tear and the elements and sprinkler systems and everything else that tend to etch away at the at the granite and uh, certainly at the the paint uh, in the the etchings. And yet this is this is perfect. It was a wonderful job they did. It looks gorgeous. They did a fantastic job. Why was this important to do for the Fraternal Order of Police? Uh, it's, it's just important to be a part of, of something so special as, as the memory of Mark Stahl. <clears throat> I think the restoration project that we were invited to take part in, um, along with Boise Valley uh, Monument Company, symbolizes to me that even 20 years later, Mark's memory has not faded one bit. And it shows that um, <clears throat> we as police officers, and the Fraternal Order of Police, and the community um, are willing to, to come together to restore this, to make it um, as though you know, Mark's memory has not faded and, and will not fade. To honor his memory, to honor his family Absolutely. as well that still comes here. In fact, one other thing that we want to show you, um, it's up the hill here a little ways. This is another part of the memorial for Mark. It's this bench right here, and they also did a restoration uh, work on this as well, right? That is correct. Yeah, this was a, a bench that was... <clears throat> Uh, donated by the Stahl family, uh, Cheryl and his two daughters, Jonelle and Julia. Uh, and my understanding is this placement of this bench is very specific so that the family or fallen officer, or I'm sorry, the, for the family or officers um, who knew Mark or who just know the memory of Mark can come here, visit Mark, and enjoy uh, a beautiful view of the sunset along with him. And we'll leave you with that, uh, Natalie. Take a look. Uh, this is the view uh, from this uh, little bench here up in uh, Dry Creek Cemetery. Um, beautiful afternoon, and it's right to remember Mark Stahl coming up now on 20 years since he was shot and killed. Back to you.